Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the Maclaurin series for for uh, for this function. So press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we are going to make use of of this. So uh, so currently looking at the function, currently looking at the function, you've got one block multiplying another block. So uh, so we can now put this into into here. So this whole thing here will then become this. So now it's uh, this times this, and then this times this. That will then give you, that will then give you, that will then give you this. Okay. So so now you can actually push this into here. So it will become this. You can actually push this into here, and then it will. This thing here will then become this. The reason why you can push it, the reason why you can push this into here, is because well here you've got x squared, here you've got x squared, and then this thing here will be something plus something plus something plus something all the way to infinity well this times this will then give you x squared times something and then this times this will give you uh, x squared times something this times this will then give you x squared times something uh, all the way to to infinity well um, if, if, if you look at this here you've got x squared uh, times something so here you've got x squared Times something, and then here you've got x squared, x squared times something. Well, the the point is that this th this whole this thing here is the same as this. If if you push this into here, it will become this. Because if I were to give you this, you well you would say well n is moving from n here. It's moving from zero to to infinity. It is the n that's moving about. It is the n that's moving about. X has nothing to do with n. It is the n that's moving. It is the n that's moving from zero to infinity. It's the n that's moving. X, this x squared here has nothing to do with n. So if I were to give you this, you can say, oh, I can take well, x x squared is like a constant. It has nothing to do with n. So you can take it out. So so the point here, the point I'm trying to make is that you can actually push this into here. You can push this into here. That will then become this. So now uh, same base, same base. So it will become two plus n. So it will become, it will become uh, two plus n is the same as n plus two. So uh, so merging these two together will then give you this, and then uh, and then uh, and then let me think. And then here you've got um, you've got a block of two times a block. You can imagine this as two to the power of one. So you can you can merge these two together. So that will become x uh, to the power of n plus one. So uh, so so this um, so so that. So this whole thing here will then become will then become this, and then and then let me think, and then what? Um. Oh yeah, and and then here's the thing. Um, we are trying to so so here we've got one thing adding another thing. We are trying to tidy this up. Um. This our aim here is to merge these two together. Um. They the you see this there is a way of merge that there is a way of merging this block with this block. Uh, the, 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 the two are very similar, except that they're out of phase by by one. Um, you see, if um, if you look at this, hang on. So so these two are, are there. There is a way of merging these two together. If if you look at this, instead of starting at n equals zero, if you start at one, n equals one, and this one starts at n equals zero. Look look what happens here. If you put this into here, that will then give you x squared. That will then give you x squared. If this uh, if this starts at zero, then this will give you x squared, uh, and then the next term will be big. Well, this will be two, and then this will be one. Well, if you put this into here, that will then give you x to the power of three. If you put one into here, the point I'm trying to that this this thing here will give you x to the power of three. The point I'm trying to make here is that there is a way of merging these two blocks together. Uh, they 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 only diff, they're, they're out of phase by by one. So um, so let's 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 try and do this one step at a time. What the aim here is that we, at the moment we've got one thing plus another. If we can find a way of merging them, and uh, there's a way of merging them and simplifying. So the aim here is to merge this with this. So uh, so our aim here is to try and start this at one. But 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 hang on, let's let, let's look at this bit here. When n equals zero, we'll put zero into here. Put zero into here. This the first term will be. Will be um, well when when you put zero into here, this will be n to the power of 
one, sorry, it will be x to the power of 1, so it will be 2x, so it will be 2x. So, so leave this the same, leave this as it is, and then the first term of this summation will be 2x, and then, and then this thereafter will be n. The, the point is that this thing here will become, this is your first, this is when, when n equals 0, and then thereafter, so this is thereafter, n starts at 1, from 1 to infinity. The point is that this whole thing here will then become this. So, uh, so now, uh, now, hang on, remember our, our aim here is to merge, to simplify this. There is a way of merging these two together. So, um, so, so let, uh, so here you've got three blocks. One, two, three. Let me just move this out of the way first and then concentrate on, on merging these two. Okay, so that will then take us to, um, to, to here. And then, uh, and then, and then, uh, we'll, so our aim is to try and merge these two together. Um, uh, if, if we, uh, if we start, how, uh, if, if we, if, if we can make this to, to match with this, um, start, start at, um, start at n equals 1 for, for this summation. So start at n equals 1. So, uh, so if, 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 if n, if you make n to start at 1, then if you decrease n by 1, uh, so, 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 so the, the point, we, we are trying to get, we, we are trying to get these two to match up with each other. I'll, I'll want this to start at 1 so that it matches up with this. So let's start at 1, but then decrease the n here by 1. So this will be x n minus 1 plus 2. So, so basically put minus 1, minus the n by 1. Okay, and then, and then minus the n by 1. It will have the same effect. Um, so, so this, this thing here will, will then become, will then become this. These two are actually the same. They are actually the same if you think about it. Um, press the video, press pause and pause the video and, uh, and think about it. These two are actually the same. If you start this at 1 and then decrease the n by, by 1, uh, then, then it will have the same effect. It will have the same effect. You might have to press pause and think about it. This is exactly the same as this. The beauty of this now is that this starts at, at n equals 1 and it matches up with this. So we are starting from 1 to infinity. 1 to infinity. So we might as well share the, the common summation. So merge these two together. So that will then take you to, that will then take you to here. Okay. And then, and then, uh, and then let me think, uh, what next? Uh, hang on. Let me think, let me think. Uh, oh yeah. So, so now, um, now, uh, now these two are the same now. Uh, these two are exactly the same now. So, so you can factorize, you can factorize out the, uh, you can factorize out to this block. That will then give you this. So what's left will be one, and then, uh, and then this thing, and then you've got your two, two, n factorial. So, uh, so this whole thing here, this whole thing here will then become this. Okay, and then, uh, and then, and then what? Let me think. Um, and then now we now you've got one fraction plus another fraction. You want to merge them together. In order for you to merge fractions, the two denominators have to be the same. So if you times top and bottom here by by n, then the, then this thing here will become this. By the way, this thing here is n factorial. Whether I made a mistake, Bear with me. This should be n n factorial n factorial. So bear with me. So uh, so so now now you've got two fractions. You've got this fraction, you know, you've got this fraction plus this fraction. We want to merge them together. In order for you to merge uh, to merge your fractions, the two denominators have to be the same. So times top and bottom by n. So uh, so so this will then become this. Now this thing here is n factorial. Um, re remember, n factorial is also n times n minus one factorial. So, so this thing here is actually n factorial. So now the two denominators are the same. We can merge the two fractions. So this will then become this. So, uh, so now if, if you look at this, um, if, if you look at this, um, uh, we, we still got this thing lingering around. If you, if you just, just, just look at this. When n equals zero, when n equals zero, if you put this into here, then it will be x. Uh, x to the power of 1, which is just x. This will be 1. 
and then uh, and then when n equals zero, I'll put it into here. So that will be two. So that will then give you your two x. The point is that this is your your n equals zero here. This thing here, this two x here, is your n equals zero. So push this into here, and then start at zero, and then start at zero. So uh, so push this into here, start at zero. So this this thing here. If you start at zero, it, the first term will generate, will generate this. So the point is that this starts at one here, uh, push this into here, rather than starting at one, start at zero. So that will then give you this. This is your series, the series that you're after. And then it's valid for all x. Okay? So this is your final answer.